new update just dropped in mw3 let's go through all the additions and changes in this video first up here a playlist update here's what we have right now we have hardcore quick play rust mint 24 7 which we'll check out later on in the video it's also a part of the free trial as well which just began today mosh pit here which includes afghan high rise meat and terminal good selection of maps there with game modes kill confirmed domination hardpoint tdm we have war mode here of course still with operation spearhead i definitely want to see some more war maps return maybe some of those classic world war ii war maps brought into mw3 that'd be fire we'll talk about that in a future video of course we have ground war as well the same ground war maps we've had all or nothing is now in the game we'll play that later on in this video um pretty much all of the mw2 maps or mw3 maps i guess pretty cool 12v12 mosh pit is still there uh grease 24 7 as well fire stuff here grease is a solid map gunfight cutthroat invasion so that's a selection of playlists we have right now in this game we'll check out a bunch of them again later on in this video timestamps down below of course quick reminder be sure to check out my partner apex gaming pcs a bunch of great customizable pcs over there i also changed the actual tier names for the pcs to match my members here so we have lieutenant commander and warlord all customizable great for playing call of duty all the triple a titles editing videos all stuff like that if you do go into a buy a pc be sure to use code maris for an extra discount links are down below really do appreciate it guys now quick update on the store there aren't any new major store updates we've gotten a bunch of stuff recently of course that main dune part 2 bundle just dropped i broke down in my video yesterday we're gonna get the other dune bundle in a couple days from now trace pack supernova is pretty cool this uh, other one as well the uh, i guess anime cat bundle right but there's a lot of other weapon bundles that are dropping down here. If you go to the operator identity and blueprint bundles, a lot of ones that I seem to miss here. This one has been making the rounds, the x-ray tube bundle, which we just got a fix for in the patch notes, which I'll talk about later on in the video. This one is crazy. It's a haymaker blueprint and then a striker nine blueprint as well. I, I mean, this is actually super, super fire. So let me hide the UI here. A see-through weapon blueprint. Uh, obviously x-ray in a use the bones in the middle here's the striker nine look as well i don't know this looks really sick so let me know down below if you got this here is it worth it should i cop this here we have an emblem calling card and weapon sticker 1200 cop points not too bad man so definitely a solid one for sure i mean overall i feel like the mw3 bundles have been fairly decent i feel like ever since uh mw2 season 5 when we got the halloween bundles they start to step it up a little more than what we've seen in the past couple years i feel like for most of mw2 last year the bundles were pretty boring but now the bundles are getting more interesting more worth it potentially I, I don't know let me know down below your opinions on that and we also just got an operator pack available for free for playstation plus users it's the first combat pack for season one you're getting a pretty cool operator skin for lockpick two weapon blueprints a charm sticker calling card and emblem of course when you get these you're most concerned about the operator skin and the weapon blueprints and for this combat pack here for season one they look pretty solid and again we're gonna get these every single season for mw3 so as long as you have playstation plus you're gonna be able to redeem all of these for free throughout the year which is solid and of course next year they'll probably do the same thing that they did for the oni operator where they're gonna you know have it in the store for other people to purchase which i don't know if i fully agree with i mean uh, they were selling the oni operator packs for 20 bucks a pop which is a bit much i just think it should be a little cheaper maybe 10 bucks maybe 50 percent off especially if it's releasing a year later I, I don't know let me know down below your opinions on that but overall if you're on playstation you have ps plus you might as well pick this up it's available for free and we're gonna get a new theme every single season all right so let's break down today's patch notes here these are mostly for mp and zombies in mw3 for global changes here stability and performance addressed an issue experienced by some players that caused items previously unlocked to become unavailable to equip which of course is probably fairly annoying right so that's been fixed here for weapons and attachments the mw3 ram 7 speedway v5 short barrel attachment is now available to equip in the gunsmith for equipment breacher drone lethal improved impact detection to prevent inflicting more explosive damage to players than intended so another minor nerf there customization crimson fate and carbon fate laser attachment skins will no longer appear as default skins when equipped to shotguns players who purchase the ggez weapon vault bundle will now be able to use the customizations on the hound eye integrated optic attachment animated emblems are now properly rewarded upon reaching prestige levels one through five note in the coming days we'll retroactively grant these items to players who met the requirements prior to today's fix okay for the storm enders priceless and interstellar reward emblems they're now going to actually display the correct emblem art 
for some MP changes here with the UI and the UX here, bug fixes. Kills column on the scoreboard will now track properly in a war mode. Conversion kit attachment slots for certain weapons will no longer appear as locked despite requirements being met. Exiting a blueprint preview will no longer kick the player back to the multiplayer menu. And using a controller, covering the Santa Slayground Battle Pass sector will no longer kick the player back to the MP menu, and clicking the View Bundle button on a Battle Pass bundle in the Operators tab will no longer kick players back to the MP menu. So a lot of that, you know, kicking players back to the menu there. So that's all fixed for progression changes here. Challenges that require enemy equipment to be destroyed will now progress upon the destruction of the following field upgrades. So you can now destroy an ACS, a comms scrambler, a deployable cover, med box, a munitions box, portable radar, suppression mine, tactical camera, tactical insertion, and trophy system to actually progress those uh, requirements there, those challenges, which is pretty good to see. Uh, for weapons and attachments here, Ray Gun implemented measures to prevent illicit usage outside of support modes. Interesting there. We have maps operation spearhead, of course, the war map eliminated an out of map exploit in which players were able to access an unintended rooftop near the launch site. Interesting. And eliminated an out of map exploit in which players were able to get underneath the map near the garage. For modes here, gunfight in private match split screen play will no longer cause a dev error in search and destroy, address an issue causing unintended XP rates for various match events. Playlists here, increased team deathmatch, and kill confirm score limits in certain limited time playlists. So for 12v12, that's up to 150 now, 10v10, 125, and small maps, 125 across the board. Really, really great stuff there. For private match here, with CDL rules enabled, restrictions are now accurate for the competitive settings. Training courses have returned, allowing players to learn basic movements and combat skills. Okay, for perks here, ghost to TV camo gear, players can now be stationary. For two seconds before anti-radar effects are disabled based on feedback we added a grace period to the movement requirement for the ghost tv camo with this change players remain detectable by radar while not moving but momentary pauses will no longer cause their position to be revealed which is i guess pretty cool there for zombies updates here new mission updates act four dead signal adjustments to the escape defeat gormgant step of the dead signal mission a light armored zombie enemy types have been added during the step to provide a source of armor for players okay Gameplay here, contracts, ether extraction, address an issue that would eliminate players who attempted to overload an ether extractor as the contract's time runs out. Enemy updates here, ether worm, address an issue that allowed a gray lorm to instantly die when spawned, interesting. Address an issue where getting eaten by gray lorm and grabbed by a mimic at the same time could cause players to get pushed under the map. For UI updates here, weapons are an issue that displayed the incorrect Bruin MK9 attachment unlock. Descriptions after or in the after action report. Okay. Stability here. Resolved a PC specific crash players encountered at the start of season one. There's a lot of fixes here about crashing. Hopefully those are all good. And again, various crash and stability fixes. So let me know down below your opinions on these updates and changes here. This is the probably, you know, last big patch note update before next week's pretty major holiday update with a bunch of modes in warzone mp and zombies we'll be talking more about that very soon all right let's check it out guys our first game here of all or nothing i mean when this first got revealed i wasn't too excited for this because it's not my you know favorite party mode definitely prefer like gun game infected a bit more but we're gonna check it out here see if it's uh good hopefully sbmm is treating me well today this is literally my first game okay nice okay uh yeah it's my first game on so i feel like Maybe they'll bless it, but we'll see. I, is my FOV like super? Wait. Nah, that's fine. We'll just play with this for now. Oh, where am I? I thought I put. Oh, you got played, son. Any throwing knives? Oh, he got me. Okay, okay. No problem, no problem, no problem. No problem. I spawned right here. I'm gonna get you. Now let me let me let me save it. Let's go. Alright, let's pick it back up. There we go. There we go. Oh, I literally Oh wow. I just threw that up in the sky. That did not work out well. I mean we're look. We're doing well so far. Tied for first. Nice. Got the throwing knife back. 
Should we hang up? Oh, he knew I was going to do that. Come on, come up. <laughs> come up the stairs, bro. Oh, no. You have to wait here. I don't want to make this boring, but it's kind of funny. Come back. Oh, I thought I picked up a knife. Wait. <laughs> Yo, yeah, he got me, damn. <laughs> I was trying to find his knife. Oh, man. All right, it's actually pretty fun. Man, I'm a hater, bro. I was like, I don't care about this mode returning, but it's actually pretty fun. Maybe this lobby is just good. Bro, can we just have a truce? Let's have a truce. Let me get my knife back. Oh, wow. He destroyed me. Oh, he actually just destroyed me there. Oh, I thought that was going to get him. Oh, my God. I'm choking. I'm choking. 6-8. Oh, no. I'm choking. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Got this. Oh. Well, this guy. Whoa. This OG dude is uh, kind of going crazy right now. He's uh, going crazy on me. Take that. I'll take that. Oh no, is that the OG guy? No. Bro, that's the only guy that can kill me. Oh no, someone else killed me. Alright, we're falling behind a little bit. I mean... Oh. Nice. I got, a, I got a knife. Let's go. Come on. Oh, no way. No way. 10, 12, bro. Come on. Come on. 10, 13. It might be clipped. Oh, it's clipped. Oh, man. I got to really, like... Oh, no. Oh no, from behind. Someone's probably hiding up here, right? Oh. No way I missed that. No way, I just ran right past him. As long as the guy 13 doesn't win. Gives me time to catch up here. Should be chilling. I mean, I'm not chilling, but... Oh my god, I'm so at... Bro, I'm so garbage. Oh, I'm so bad. I'm choking. I haven't got a kill in like five minutes. Oh, no way. I would have easily got that. What? Okay. Where'd my knife go? <laughs> why, bro? Why can't? Why do I do that, bro? I knife too early. 16? Oh, it's... I'm... Oh, my God. I'm... Literally zero chance. All right, but... Can I at least make top three? Nope. Wow. This is going in the video. Look. It started off good. I gotta show you guys what actually happens, man. Sometimes I choke. Okay. Well, that was still kind of fun. I mean, look. Oh, look, this was just to check out the mode overall. It's cool. But overall, that's it here for this video. Be sure to subscribe for more COD update videos like this. Shout out to the YouTube channel members as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video or live stream. Peace out, guys.